Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, I'll show you the best TTS services that are completely free to use and you can use them in any project. Now if you're not familiar with what TTS is, here's a quick introduction. TTS or text-to-speech synthesizer is a technology that allows written text to be output as speech. Like my voice, which is completely computer-generated. Now that you know what a TTS is, it's time to start our list. First, we have Google Text-to-Speech Services. You can access this website by visiting this link. Now click on this demo or scroll down until you see this section. This is where you will add your text. If you click here, you will get a whole bunch of languages to choose from. I'll pick English United States. From voice type, pick either WaveNet or Neural2. You can also get other options to change the speed and the pitch of the audio. I'll recommend you to keep these settings at default. Voice name is where you'll pick a voice type. When you're done, click this button to hear the audio. Google Cloud Text to Speech enables developers to synthesize natural sounding speech with 100 plus voices, available in. Let's try changing the voice name. There's a few of them. Play around with it and pick the one you prefer. Google Cloud Text to Speech enables developers to synthesize natural sounding speech with 100 plus voices. Of okay, great. But. How do we use the audio? Since there's is no dedicated button to download the generated audio, we have to use a piece of software to record it. In my case, I'll be using Audacity. It's a lightweight and free to use software. However, you can pick any other screen recorder or audio recorder. All we need is to somehow capture the audio and save it. To download Audacity, visit this URL in your browser. From here, click on the download link according to the OS you are using. I'm on a Windows machine, so I'll click on this link. Wait a few seconds and your downloads should start automatically. I'll cancel the download since I already have Audacity installed on my computer. Before we start using Audacity, we have to change a few of the settings. We want Audacity to record only the internal audio and not the audio from other sources, for example, your microphone. This will allow us to record a much clear audio. I have a Realtek audio driver, you might have something different. However, for the most part you can simply copy the settings from me. Okay, it's time to record some audio. Head back to Google TTS website and just click this record button. This will start recording any audio coming through your computer. Available in multiple languages and variants. It applies DeepMind's groundbreaking research in WaveNet and Google's powerful neural networks to deliver the highest fidelity possible. As an easy to use API, you can create life. When you're done, click the stop button to end your recordings. Let's hear what we have recorded so far. Click this button to play the recording. Available in multiple languages and variants. It applies DeepMind's groundbreaking research in WaveNet and Google's powerful neural networks to deliver the highest fidelity possible. As an easy to use API, you can create life. Looking great. Let's save the audio now by going to File, Export, and then Export as MP3. Choose a destination folder. Rename the file and hit Save. You can also save the audio, but I'll skip it for now. Head over to the folder where you've saved the audio file and use it in your projects. Available in multiple languages and variants. It applies DeepMind's grant. You can create life. Next in our list, we have the new Microsoft Edge browser, 
which is exactly what I use. To download Edge, head over to this URL. Edge is available for multiple platforms, so just pick the one accordingly. Edge Browser comes with an inbuilt TTS service, which you can use to read aloud any website on the internet. Find inspiration for your creative projects, with features designed to personalize your experience. Edge provides a ton of different voices, available in different languages. I recommend you to pick voices, which are natural. These natural voices sounds more human-like. Experience for work and play. Productivity features. Shop and save. But, again, we have another problem. Unlike the previous website, this time we don't have a place to add our text. But worry not. We know that the Edge TTS can read aloud any text from a web page. So, what if we upload our own web page to the browser? Or maybe a text file? Open up your notepad or any other similar text editing application. Write down your text here and save it as a .txt file. Now simply open the text file in Microsoft Edge. And we have our text in the browser. Right-click and select Read Aloud to read aloud your text. Google Cloud Text-to-Speech enables developers to synthesize natural-sounding speech with 100-plus voice. And of course, you can choose any other available voices. Voices available in multiple languages and variants. It applies DeepMind's groundbreaking research in WaveNet and Google's powerful... Okay, so now that we have our audio ready to be recorded, just like before, we can use Audacity to record the audio. If you want to make any changes, remove or add text, simply edit the text file and save it. In the browser with the tab open, reload the page to see the changes. There you have it. Two of the best TTS service, which is completely free to use. If this video was helpful, consider leaving a like to the video. Comment down any other TTS service that you are familiar with and want to share with others. Subscribe if you want more content like this one. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video.